Okay, Arno, welcome back. The future of State Highway 25A, which cuts across the Coromandel Peninsula, has been revealed with the government committing to build a bridge to reconnect coastal communities. It'll cost up to $40 million, with officials stating it's the fastest and most resilient way forward. Ashley Yates has more. It was torrential rain that caused this colossal canyon, and fitting that rain was again falling outside today as the government announced its plan to fix this critical Coromandel link. We have determined that a bridge is the right solution to fix State Highway 25A. It's a project that began at the end of January when the section of the road started cracking during cyclone hail before 130 metres of it eventually washed away, forcing the road between Kōpū and Hikawai to close. A bridge was selected as it will reconnect the Coromandel Peninsula in the shortest period of time possible and it is the safest and most resilient option. And it comes with a price tag of up to $40 million, with construction on the two-lane bridge likely to start next month, once a contractor is selected. But it's a challenging project. The site um, hasn't stopped moving, so there's still a lot of water running through that site, and the slip is still moving, and there's still concerns about land above it moving as well. The bridge may be the fastest solution, but it's still not expected to be completed until early next year. I think it'll be very very welcome, but there is uh, um, a realism in place that uh, we are a long way from those businesses feeling like they have certainty of um, knowing what the future holds. We'll leave no, no stone unturned to try and bring forward the opening and the completion of this project as soon as possible. But it means the critical link won't be open in time for summer, which business owners were hoping for, meaning it will be the fourth summer in a row of disruptions for the region. I think it's going to be in another extremely tough uh, summer period for the business and, and tourism operators. They've already had such a long period with uh, COVID and you know recent announcements of the Coromandel Ferry being down and then these storms. There's an ongoing discussion about what additional kinds of business support there might be. To ensure businesses can survive until they can thrive once more when the road is complete. It looks like you're copying a bit of rain where you are, Ashley. State Highway 25A isn't the only road causing concerns in the Coromandel. There are a few closures tonight. Yes, that's right, Mike. Just a short time ago, I spoke to Gary Towler from the Civil Defence here in Coromandel. He says that there are slips right across the roading network as well as debris and surface flooding. He is urging anyone in the region to avoid non-essential travel here this evening. He also says that the rain here in the Coromandel has been short, sharp and intense. It's still raining steadily, as you said, Mike, here in Whangamata this evening. That orange heavy rain warning, that's due to lift at midnight tonight and the risk of thunderstorms, they'll ease around seven. Thank you.